I'm Dan here with Consequence of Sound with Derek Wibley from Sum 41. How you doing today, man? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing good. So you guys have a new album coming out in two days. Yeah. What can you tell us about it? I think it's probably, I mean, most people say it's probably our heaviest for us. Um, I don't know. I think it probably leans more on, I don't think it's heavier than anything we've ever done necessarily, but we probably lean on our heavier side more on this record. Okay. Any specific any reason sense. why? No. No, I don't think about anything when I'm writing music. It just okay. kind of comes out. And I think if, it, if there's any reason, maybe it's because I wrote these songs really quick, and it was about three weeks that the whole record kind of came together. So probably because it was like in such a concentrated amount of time that ended up kind of having a similar vibe throughout the whole thing. Okay, cool. Uh, I read in a couple other publications, some people were saying it's like your most politically charged record, but you were saying, no, it's just our most personal record. So do you feel like that goes hand in hand with the, the heavy sound, heavy themes, that kind of thing? I don't know. I guess to me, yeah, I, I don't think it's a political record. Some people do in some ways, but... Uh, to me, it just sounds, it just feels like a personal record to me. I don't know. Because I, I don't think I'm really singing about anything specific. I mean, there's probably some feelings, um, you know, traveling the world and stuff like that, seeing just sort of the chaos and dysfunction all around the world. It's not just in the U.S., you know, it's this hatred and division is everywhere. Um, and that sort of kind of, to me, I think my feelings of that or my observations of that came out, but I'm not really addressing anything specific, you know. Okay, that makes sense. Um, now, I loved your video, your Rock is Dead video with Will Sasso oh, yeah, yeah. yelling at you guys about that you got to play pop music. Uh, was that purely tongue-in-cheek, or do you guys feel like Rock's kind of in a bad place these days? I think we're just making fun of the whole the whole music industry. I think that's just the same way we did it in the last time. It was with Will Sasso and Still Waiting. Um, we're just making fun of just the current state of pop, pop culture, really. And uh, you guys are on Disrupt Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, you played Warp Tour quite a bit when it was a traveling festival, and I yeah. think you played the last year that it did travel. So how does I did one show? On one show, okay. yeah. yeah. Uh, so. How does Disrupt uh, kind of compare to that traveling festival vibe? Um, I don't know. They feel very different. It doesn't feel like it's the same kind of thing. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be or if it's trying to be. I don't necessarily think it is. I think um, it's, you know it's just it's around the same time as Warped Tour used to go out, but I think it's trying to do its own thing. And it, to me, it feels like its own thing. Okay. We're only on it for a little bit though. So, I mean, we, we've only done a few shows. And uh, you guys on your last tour by yourselves, you played or tried to play at least a different set every night. Mm -hmm. How did that go? It was cool. Every night we were changing it up, um, you know, pretty much for the whole tour, but uh, we were playing songs that we just hadn't played in years like 20 years some of them some of the songs we'd never played before on tour so it was pretty exciting pretty fun i mean some of them were a little you know kind of train wrecks at first <laughs> but it was cool what was the reasoning behind that just for you guys i don't know I, I think it was just something to do it was like it wasn't really thought of or talked about i i had this idea and i just kind of sent the set list out to everybody and i said here's what i'm thinking you know it was about a week before the tour and it had a whole bunch of songs that we'd never played before and nobody questioned it. Nobody said, why are we doing this? Or, you know, they just said, okay, cool. And we knew all the songs in rehearsal and that was that. And Dave rejoined the band after a long hiatus. Mm -hmm. How's that been to have him back? Well, it's great. I mean, it's been about, I'm going to say close to four years now with a lot of touring done in those years. So it feels like, you know, it, it doesn't feel like it. He, it's new, you know, so we're pretty settled. I mean, the, the day that he came back in the band, it, it, didn't feel it felt like he'd never been gone so it wasn't a big adjustment to be a five piece now or it was more of an adjustment for us as a band um but not to play with dave it was just like well who does what and what what do we all do best you know so three guitar players who's gonna do what and who's better at what all three of us are so different in the way we play cool. so it, it kind of works to make one sort of sound and then it was pretty well reported a couple of years ago uh you had a brush with near death mm -hmm. how's it feel to be past that putting out a new record playing a big traveling tour i mean every day that you're alive feels great <laughs> um for me anyway i guess uh i don't know i don't really think about it too much because it, it was about five years ago now but it also feels like it was maybe 10 years ago um just with the amount of stuff that we've been doing and, and i don't really look back too much i'm pretty forward i'm mostly just present thinking cool. but um moving forward so i don't know it feels great 